today is Saturday. So we're gonna be taking some pictures for my Instagram and also Charlie wants to get some pictures of cars. It's supposed to be around 26 degrees today, so I thought I would just leave my coat at home so hopefully it doesn't get too cold. So I'm just wearing this shirt because I need to cover my tattoo, which I got done yesterday. Yesterday it was really smooth, but this morning it was quite dry because it has to go through a kind of drying like process and then it starts to peel over. So I just applied some of this cream, which they recommended. It's basically like nappy cream. The thing I want to really quickly mention is a company called Munch Pack contacted me a couple of weeks ago asking if I would like to try out some of their treats. So this is what the box looks like. I love the packaging. I think it is so cute. Really, really heavy. So me and Charlie are going to be tasting those sweets at some point in this vlog. So we're just on our way to the bus stop. It's actually quite hot outside. So we're going to go um, to the shop and get a drink so we can have that for our journey i usually like to bring like mints or chewing guns with me because we travel so much we spend quite a few hours there and back like on buses and when we're in central london we get so 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 many buses so i always like to have mints maybe i'll just go for my usual seven up so I literally don't know what else to pick and i don't know what else i fancy so seven up Travers Square in Knightsbridge. Me and Charlie normally come to Knightsbridge to go to Brompton Square where we usually take some pictures. Um, but around this area is where you have the number 14 Travers Square house, which you've probably seen on Instagram a couple of times. It's like a white house and it's got a little like, a pink door and stuff. So that's what we've come to find today. This is what the place looks like. It's really, really, really pretty. I love all the pink. Um, so me and Charlie are gonna try and get some pictures in front of this place. Oh, I need to move back a bit more. So we're back home now and I thought we would unbox this munch pack. Um, I have no idea what is inside this box. Um, they didn't tell me like that much information about the box itself. So I've just been looking on their website to sort of get a better understanding about it. So munch pack is a monthly subscription box for treats and snacks and stuff. They're based in the United States. So if you live in the US, then you can get free shipping. There's three different sizes. So you have the munch pack mini, which is five plus snacks. You have the original munch pack, which is 10 plus snacks. And then the family pack, which is 20 plus snacks. And you can customize the box to your liking so you can pick and choose like uh, things that you like or dislike I didn't get to choose they just sent me a random box so, ooh, got my name on it so you get three dollars off so there's like a little note in there with my name on it so munch pack was founded in November 2013 goal of finding out of the ordinary delicious snacks that can't be found in just any convenience store and bring them to the okay, door. Okay, so basically their idea was to get a bunch of snacks from like places that you couldn't just get in your local sweet shop or supermarket. So they're just trying to pick like unique products that people can try and it gets delivered straight to your door as they are um, monthly subscription boxes. That's nice. Okay, do you want to hold it? Yeah, so then you don't smack it in my face. <laughs> right, so I think this is a sticker. So ah. you get a munch pack sticker, you get so much in here. Okay, so I think this is like a prize draw kind of thing. And then it's got this paper. Okay, you're gonna probably like that. Ketchup flavour, I'm gonna love them. Right, so planting chips with lemon. I don't like planting chips. Do you like planting chips? Have you had them before? Well, I they're like, oh, you can't eat these, it's banana. Charlie oh, can't eat banana, and I don't really like banana. But I think, my, I think my mum will eat this, so I'm gonna give this to my mum as she wants to try some stuff as well. So they're potato chips. 
and their ketchup flavors. I I don't like ketchup, but Charlie does. See what was heavy. Probably. So next thing we have is coffee. This is like rock solid. Feel this. That's so hard. Do you mind? <laughs> okay, I like this thing. I'm, mm. I'm gonna like this. So we've got some Harry Bows. These look different to us. These are like the fantastic. Oh, from Germany. It tells you which country the treats are from. So this one was from Club Colombia. This one was from uh, Canada. And this one's also from Colombia. But I am going to really, really, really Same. enjoy these. They're like really, nice. really squishy, like more squishier than our ones. Can I have a look? Can we go out to Germany too? No. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, what is this? Are these jawbreakers? Oh, they are. Okay. Mexican. So you get three lo three lollipops. How big are they? Oh, they're quite big. Show them. You get three. Probably gobstoppers. The next thing we have are these lollipops, mm -hmm. and these are from Mexico. And these are called Rocalita. 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 We probably pronounce that so wrong. Basically jawbreakers and they are basically just jawbreakers on a stick. I really, really like jawbreakers so I can't wait to go ahead and try these out. Um, what's this? Sour see. dip. Right, so this next one is from China. Um, and this is called fruit, wait, fruit blast sour dip. Strawberry, strawberry flavoured fruit strips of apple flavored sour gel that sounds really nice <laughs> this is what this looks like um this is kind of like strange but a lot of sweets from china are quite strange so it's basically a uh, sour sweet so they dip i love sour things next thing is oh chocolate <laughs> okay so this is from this. canada this is a organic waffle wait it's basically an organic chocolate flavoured waffle um so this i i will two. like do you get two in there yeah so one each are you sure there's two yeah well it feels a bit soft and melted i'm not i wouldn't be surprised if it's melted because it's boiling in the uk uh right so this is basically what it looks like close up i am going to enjoy this because i love chocolate next thing Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> wow i think this is like a chewy sweet so this is from germany so this is from Germany again, and these are chewy candy strips. So they're lemon and orange flavored with vitamin C. These look really good. What is this? So this is from Israel. Marzipan. I, I cannot pronounce this. But it's, no, I can't pronounce that. But Oppenheimer. It's, Marzipan, chala. So it's basically a sweet and soft almond. You can't eat it. Can you have almonds? Oh. With peanuts. Peanuts, okay. So sweet and soft almond and sugar pastry. So this is what this looks like. It's quite, it's actually quite hard. This is from Thailand. We want to go to Thailand. Okay, this looks really weird. It's like a stick thing and I think it's butter flavour. So this is what the packaging looks like. So the last thing, sadly, in this box, um, they, they look like bo they're bourbons, but they're black ones. I've never seen this in my life. Have you? Well, obviously not. We've not been to India. It's from India. I didn't know that. Okay, so we have bourbons, the chocolate ones, but this one is like almost like an Oreo because it's got like a, mix a black of Oreos and bourbon. It's got like a black biscuit, and then it's like white cream in the middle. So it says crunchy and crispy cookies covered in sugar crystals with sweet milk cream. So this is what the packet looks like. I'm not sure how many you get in there. This was everything that we got in the box. There's actually quite a lot of things. There's like a few things that I won't eat, but there is quite a lot of things I would try, which I'm surprised about. Like I'm really looking forward to like trying this. Uh -huh. I'm trying this one. And then. And trying this. And what are you looking forward to trying? Them. This. <laughs> looking forward to trying a bit of everything really. I think the only thing in this box that I wouldn't eat or have would be um, the coffee because I don't drink coffee. Um, the plantain. I reckon your sister would have them. Maybe. Overall I think it's great value for money because in this pack we have 11 items. So I thought we had the mini pack but we actually have the original which is 10 plus items. And it's a really nice variety of sort of sweet things and also uh, savoury things. Also like things to drink and then you've got like biscuits and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really nice mixture of 
product. I'm nervous. Right, so Charlie's gonna start off with these ketchup flavored potato crisp. There you go. It says chips on the packet, but like we're British, we call them crisps. In America, you would say chips. We need to see you. I can't even open it. I, I hope they don't smell. I can't open it. <laughs> Now if you say so. Just hurry up and taste one. <laughs> this is what they look like. Oh, they look kind of weird. We can't see your face. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It doesn't really taste of ketchup. I'd say it tastes more of a... sort of relish. It smells a bit like Doritos, actually. Charlie's gonna try this um, butter thing. Comes in this box that opens up like this. Okay. Oh, I think the sticks are just flavoured with butter. It's just Ooh. butter flavoured. And you they get two packs. smell like buttercream. Tastes like custard cream to me. Oh, well. No, I don't know what to pick. Ruffle. This? Mm. All right, so we're gonna try the waffle. Oh wow, they're not what I was expecting. There's only one, there's not two. Okay, half H. All right, so this is what it looks like. That's a very thin it's, waffle. It's so soft. Wow. Oh, it looks good. Okay, taste a little bit. Well, kind of has no taste. Like, inside, I think that's supposed to be melted chocolate. And when you taste it, it doesn't have much of it. It tastes like Weetabix. If you've ever had Weetabix, it, it tastes like, like that. It tastes like a stale cookie. Mmm, I love Harry's. There you go, pick one. You're supposed to wait for me. <laughs> Try again. I'm going to go for this red one. weird got a nice weird so like soft ours are more chewy mm, these are chewy. soft they're sour but not like too over the top sour and the thing the one i had it tasted like rhubarb mine was orange do you want to try this what is it <laughs> this is a uh, soft and chewy lemon and orange flavored can so they come packed like this guys so weird. That is. Right, so it's just a whole bar. So it's like in this uh paper stuff. Wow. That is quite orange. Uh, the concepts are so strange. Why would they pack it like this? It's literally all stuck and melted to it. What? <laughs> How do you eat this? Or maybe you just bite it. There you go. Wait for me this time. Oh, it's it's literally <laughs> Huh. Tastes like um orange starburst. Mmm, it does. There's like these uh sticks. Um, they're actually quite hard. And oh mm. wow, that looks messy. Well, you've already tasted it now. Dip it in. I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, this is so gooey. Chew one. Not even that sour. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that easy. <laughs> Smells like a typical marzipan. I know it has marzipan. Yeah. Can we see what you're doing? Looks like I um, take a bit off for both of us. I don't want to try it. You got it. No, I don't think I want to eat this. Mmm. Like a typical marzipan. There you go. <clears throat> but softer and melts straight in your mouth. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this is what they look like. Can you get one now? Oh, they smell a bit weird. 
Mmm. It's not that bad. Got a bit of a weird aftertaste. No, I don't like the aftertaste. Oh no. Mm, I don't like that. They were disgusting. Oh wow, there's two different types. Three of these lollipops and three of these. Love lollipops. <laughs> I don't know what flavour they are though. How do you open them? Open at the top. Oh, it doesn't look very appealing. Oh no, it doesn't. That looks weird. It looks like a doo-doo. Oh, it stings. This looks so... I what? don't even know. It smells like coffee. It looks so weird. I'm terrified. On the count of three? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hopefully these ones taste good. I'm, I was looking forward to these. Already? One, two. Oh, they smell the same. One, two, three. <laughs> Who even makes these? <laughs> no wonder why I never see them about. Get rid of it. <laughs> Chili powder. Where? Oh, so the lollipops with chili powder and chewing gum. Tried all this like snacks and stuff. Overall, I think this box is honestly like great fun, especially if you're tasting stuff with friends or family. Um, you might find like some treats and stuff from different countries that you feel like you really, really, really enjoy. All these products that we've tried, we can't actually get here in the UK. So that was great to be able to taste things from different places. Um, obviously there's some items that tasted absolutely disgusting and we would never try again, but we've also discovered some products that we do like. Let us know in the comments if you would like us to get another one of these boxes because this one obviously was sent to me for free but if you guys would like us to actually uh get another box and test it on camera for you guys then please let us know in the comments because charlie really enjoyed trying all of these like snacks and stuff it? i enjoyed it as well but I think, I think you enjoyed it more you literally tasted everything i'm quite fussy so <laughs> So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know the vlog was a bit like short and probably all over the place because we went to London and they had like a march or something going on. So yeah, it was like a protest going we on. We sadly couldn't get anywhere today. It was yeah. It was just off. like loads of the roads were blocked off so we couldn't get our usual buses. There were so many people. It was just hot and we just literally went to like one or two places and then just came back home really. I feel like it was a bit of a waste of a day. We could have just mm. stayed at home. Relaxed. Relaxed. I could have done some editing. We would have done this anyway. <laughs> yeah. But that's basically what we're going to be doing tomorrow. But it was great testing out this uh, munch pack though. That was a load of fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video anyway. And we hope you enjoyed watching the week's worth of all our oh yeah so well. charlie's going home tomorrow and i'm not vlogging tomorrow so this is going to be the last time you see him until august which will be around your birthday time and i yeah. still need to get your birthday gifts third of august don't know if we're gonna be your birthday's going. on the fourth isn't it yeah but you're gonna be with me on the third oh okay but charlie's birthday is on the fourth of august so we're probably gonna have like another week's kind of either of in kent or in London. London's better because there's nothing to do in Kent. Apart from go to the seaside. <laughs> <laughs> and Nando's. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Both of our Instagrams are linked down below in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So bye for now. Bye guys.